right, well, welcome to the Finger Strong's review of the Glock 43. There is, if you type in Glock 43, you'll probably see a hundred of them. But hopefully I can do something a little different than others here. I can kind of give you a personal feel about it, other than just the stats. Stats are pr pretty much the same, other than it's a shrunken Glock. So it is. Works exactly the same as Glock. Um, this is a great carry conceal gun. A little pricey, but it's got the Glock name on it. Uh, you know, with the Glock name being said, it's probably going to have a lot of accessories that you can get aftermarket, stuff like that. But um, this, for me, is a great ankle, ankle holster uh, firearm. It is really light. It is uh, considerably lighter than the Glock 27 double stack 40 here that I used to carry. Um, but you know, you can carry this in your shirt, uh, in, a, in a nice sticky holster, in your pocket, or on your belt line. I carry it there sometimes. All right, the feel about this gun is different. When I first picked it up, um, it felt like a toy because I've shot a lot of Glocks and the plastic of the polymer here just didn't feel real. It felt, felt very weird. But um, it is exactly the same thing as a regular Glock. It's shrunken. I wish Glock had came out with this probably years earlier. But here they are now. A little dirty. I gotta clean this bad boy up. Same barrel design. Um, has a compact spring in it. Top slide's exactly the same. Like I said, if, if you ever handled Glocks before, this is exactly like another Glock. Uh, the only thing that worried me, felt weird, so I'm not used to the plastic being so flimsy, but I guess it has to be to make it so compact. And, uh, once you get in your hand, it doesn't feel too bad. But I was uh, almost scared to shoot it. Just, I don't know, it felt foreign to me, I guess. Mm, I gotta clean this gun. But we did some, uh, we did some about 15 yard shooting out of concealed, me and my buddy Breko a couple days ago with this and the Glock 27. Um, just going in and out of holsters, pulling the trigger, have some trigger time behind it and all that stuff. And other than the magazine capacity, which is by the way six, so you have six plus one compared to the nine plus one on the Glock 27. Um, it's virtually the same. Uh, you know, I'm not going to get all the specifics and trigger pull and all that. It feels the same to me very just very glockish I mean I really and um this was for my wife pretty much I bought her a gun for, for her but she likes the p7 and so I found myself carrying this more than, than her um, and so far so good really I mean eventually I imagine I'll probably come out with the aftermarket uh, magazines with maybe a little finger on it but really uh, you don't need it I don't need it my hands are medium I guess I don't have really large hands, um, like some guys I shoot with. But compared to the 40, as you can see, it's much thinner, same length, but much thinner. Double stack, single stack. 27 has just about, if not exactly the same size as a full size Glock, uh, width wise. But the 43 is just a little bit thinner and that little bit of thinness there makes a humongous difference in carrying this thing um, I've actually kind of grown to love it the last two months I've had it uh, trigger pulls is exactly the same the holster I like for it is the old sticky holster the thing is uh it's great for this it's probably better holsters but I've just gotten used to these put it on inside your pant inside your pants or shorts, put your belt on around it, comes out smoothly. Um, pulling out the holster and shooting, no problem. Putting back in the holster under your shirt, it's really no problem. Um, it's really lightweight. And for the ankle ankle holster, it's it's awesome. You don't even feel it's there after you're used to it. Like for example, this is my worn out old nylon ankle holster. Not that expensive. 
but it, it fits really good in it. Pop it on. Pop it on. Yeah, pop it on. Once you get the button strapped, which for some reason I cannot do today. I think I got it adjusted for the 40, I mean for the 40 caliber. But pretty much it. Strap it on your leg and it's, it's so light, it's just so easy to carry. Uh, there's other carry concealed guns that I've, I've had back in the past. I used to have the Springfield XD 40 caliber. Uh, it was great. Uh, I moved up to the Glock 27 just because I, you know, I had a, a Glock 22, which the magazines were interchangeable, so that was awesome. And now I've just started carrying this. Old, uh, six plus one. I like it. Mm -hmm.